Welcome back, folks, for a new episode of Leaked. And today we'll cover the low tiers, the tier 1 through 4 of the upcoming Czechoslovakian medium tank branch. So we'll take a look at the Kalahozinka at tier 1, the Lek tank Vizor 35 and 38 at tier 2 and tier 3, and the Strudeny tank Vizor 39 at tier 4. So three light tanks, one medium tank to make up the low tiers of the Czechoslovakian medium tank branch. Now today's video is going to be a little bit short because not that many people pay that much attention to lower tiers. They are interesting tanks, but most of them are usually skipped with free XP or small amounts of grind. The grind is not that tough, only like 2000 XP to tier 3 and 5000 to tier 4 or something like that. So not that much grind is needed for these tanks. And plus, two of these four tanks are already in the game. The Panzer 35 and Panzer 38 T's already in the game, so yeah, it's kind of pointless to go again uh, talking about the histories of these vehicles. So that's kind of weird, but yeah, I guess it's the original version of the Panzer 35 and Panzer 38 T. Now I highly recommend you watching the previous speculation slash leak video about the Czechoslovakian medium tank designs because that video goes through the history a little bit better. So click on the picture to the bottom right to watch the whole video about the speculation on the medium branch like three months ago or two months ago. But today we'll cover the lower tiers. So let's talk about the histories of these tanks. The Kalahozinka at tier 1 is basically an indigenous Czechoslovakian design to reproduce or have a FT-17 of their own. So this vehicle has a rotating turret, a middle fighting compartment, a driver compartment in the front and the engine in the back. So it's a revolutionary fighting compartment slash engine layout. So it's way better than the Sponson like heavy bulky tanks of the British like the Mark 1 or the Mark 2. So this tank design was very popular and its basis for modern day tank designs like the Abrams and the Leclerc all have the turret the middle fighting compartment, the driver in front, yada yada yada. So yeah, it's a very popular design and the Czechs wanted to have their tank design of their own based on the FT-17. So they came up with this thing. It has wheels to accommodate with the tracks to help with the terrain passability. It has a bulky hull with a rotating turret. I do not know what these boobs are. <laughs> They're not machine gun ports because there are no machine guns sticking out. It's pretty big to be a periscope unless you go like diving with it. So it looks like a mystery van, you know, from Scooby-Doo or one of those Moai statues on Easter Island. So it's a bulky, gigantic boobs of eyeballs or boobs of boobs on it. So it's a weird looking tank and has training wheels, quote unquote. So I love the training wheels. But for the in-game model, this vehicle does not have the wheels because it provides too much problems with the detracking and other stuff. So wheel vehicles are not ready yet for World of Tanks, so they took out the wheels. But this is the Kolohozinka 50 version. Now there were three versions of the tank based on horsepower, the 50, the 60, and 70. The model in the game has the 50s hull armor with the 70s turret. So. It's a hybrid Kalahozinka, but it doesn't really matter that much. So it's a decent little tank. Now, this tank was only produced with only one prototype. It was used for training purposes, but it was never mass produced or saw combat. So it's a small fun, th uh, fun tank bite size of a thing. Yeah, <laughs> looks funky though. Yeah, it's bulky. Now we already have the Lek tank. Vizor 35 and 38, basically the Panzer Kampfwagen 35T and 38T at tier 2 and tier 3. So these two tanks were produced in Czechoslovakia and they were overtaken by the Germans when the Germans invaded in 1939, I believe. So these two tanks were popular with the Germans for the initial Blitzkrieg. They were served alongside with the Panzer 1s and Panzer 2s in the Blitzkrieg. They invaded France, Belgium, Poland, oh yeah, name it, and Russia. So yeah, they were used, but 
once these tanks face up to the likes of KV-1s and T-34s, they were, yeah, very much outclassed. So these tanks were converted into tank destroyers, like the Martyr III or the Yak Panzer 38, which is the Hetzer, and they were used as training vehicles or target practice. So these tanks were good, but in 1941, these tanks were outclassed by the Russians. And here is the Strudeny tank, basically meaning medium tank, Vizur 39, model 1939. So this tank was developed to replace the Panzer 38T. Now this tank was also meant to beef up the Panzer 1s and Panzer 2s. This tank has a 47mm gun, so it's a little bit better at punching through targets than the Panzer 1s and Panzer 2s and initial Panzer 3s and Panzer 4s. The Panzer 3s and Panzer 4s at that time had the short barrel 75mm L24, I believe. So the derpy derp gun on the Panzer 3s and Panzer 4s. Or the 37mm, so the short barrel 37. But this tank has a better firepower than those two vehicles. But due to political pressures and economical insta instability, with the Germans occupation and stuff, this tank was never mass produced. The Germans liked this tank, but they preferred the Panzer III's and modifying it, so this tank never got mass produced, and it's only a prototype, or not that successful of a tank. So yeah, these tanks are decent enough, but after the overview of initial stats from these vehicles, these tanks do not play like their higher tier brethren. So, brethren, brethren, whatever. <laughs> but these tanks are okay, but I believe most people will skip these tanks because it usually gets a lot better at tier 6 for the Czechoslovakian medium tank branch. These tanks are okay ish. They don't play like the older tanks, the higher tier tanks, because they're not as mobile. For example, the Kalahauzinka is super slow. It has like 6 horsepower per ton ratio, so ugh. And you already have the Light Panzer 35 and 38Ts, so it's basically the same vehicle, but somehow the Czech version has rather low DPM. So yeah, let's get to the stats and models of these tanks. And here are the HD renders of the Kolhozinka at tier 1. It's basically a van. <laughs> what are these boobs? I still do not know what these things are. They're like opaque. You cannot see through them. So these are not periscope. These are not machine gun ports. What the heck are these used for? Tesla rods? Shoot lightning out of these? I do not know. Can somebody tell me what the hell these things are? Looks like boobs or eyeballs. Looks like a Moai statue a little bit from this angle. <laughs> it's a weird looking little tank. Now they took off the training wheels. So that's a real big bummer. I really wanted the training wheels on these tanks. Damn it. But yeah, it's it's okay. It's a tier 1 TOG. Ish. Yeah, that's a good... That's actually a very good example. A tier 1 TOG for you. But it doesn't have the health. So... It's a box tank. <laughs> it's alright. It's a tier 1. You can buy it for free. It's free. You don't have to buy it. So here are the main stats for the Kalahauzinka. Now I put the average stat in white parentheses around the actual, or the tank stats. So you can see the difference between the average and the stats of the tank. So health is below average, but it's tier 1 by 3, so not that much. Engine is rather low, horsepower, only 50. The power to weight ratio is only 6.3, weighs about 8 tons. So this thing is super slow. Top speed is slow. Reverse is slow. Ugh. Ultraverse is decent enough. Turtraverse is okay. More of a heavy tank. Terrain resistance is a lot better to compensate for the crappy power to weight ratio. So okay, decent enough. Fuel range is below average. It doesn't have a radio. <laughs> this thing used to be signaled with flags. So you stick a flag out and just like, I'm moving over here or something. <laughs> it has 90 meters of signal range. Holy crap. That's actually a first. A tank that does not use a radio, but has to use like signal positions with flags or stuff. 
That's that's really funny. Hull armor is crap. Only 14 at the front, 8 at the sides, 6 at the rear, so eh. Superstructure or the turret is 14. Bleh. Has good penetration for tier 1, so very good penetration. Damage is all, yeah, very good. Oh man, has very good damage and penetration. DPM is decent enough. Aim time is okay. Accuracy is okay. Reloads every 3.1 second. 10 degrees of gun depression, 20 elevation. So this basically is a heavy tank without armor. A TOG at tier 1. If they would add the training wheels, I would love this vehicle. Because how stupid it is. <laughs> it's like a TOG with training wheels. A mini TOG. That's actually very fitting. But they took that training wheels off. So you only have the boobs of whatever this thing is. No. And here is the leg tank Vizur 35 at tier 2. Basically, the Panzer Kampfwagen 35T. It's an okayish looking tank. It was popular with the Germans for the Blitzkrieg, but when it faced T 34s, yeah, <laughs> it's no match. So, this tank is alright. It has a giant cupola on top. Oh. Well, it is pretty flat, so. Don't expect to bounce that many shots, but it's tier 2. Not many people play tier 2. And if you meet a Unicom at tier 2, he's probably seal clubbing. So, yep, mm, this is not a seal clubbing tank. Don't worry about it. You should not see this vehicle that often. It's okay. But here are the main stats. So, above average health. Alright. Below average horsepower per ton ratio. So, this tank is more of a heavy tank. Slower than the average. Turns better. That's good. Turret is a little bit slower. Better terrain resistance than the average. Better view range than the average. Has a radio now than the flags. <laughs> the armor is crap. Like the Panzer 38 and Panzer 35s. No armor. Hmm. Penetration is very good. Above average. Damage is also above average. Good. DPM is below average. But it trades off with the damage and penetration. So I guess that's okay. Reloads every 2.6 seconds. Accuracy is above average. Very good. Aim time is fast. Good. Good gun depression and elevation. So basically a heavy tank. A TOG 2 again at tier 2. But I wonder how good this vehicle compares to the actual Panzer Kampfwagen 35T. I haven't looked but it feels slow. This horsepower per ton ratio feels a little bit slower. Compared to the zipping fast light tanks at tier 2, yeah, this feels slow. And those tanks have machine guns. So basically, the crazy high rate of fire and the penetration against your armor means you're dead in one burst. So, this is not a frontline heavy tank. There's no heavy tanks at tier 2 now, is there? No, the uh, French, the French, the H35. The Panzer Kampfwagen H35 as well, the R35 or 36, the French light tank, but that thing has like 45 millimeters of frontal armor. Yeah, this thing has no armor. Eh, play like a Carnarvon, I guess. <laughs> and at tier three, we have the light tank Vizur 38, basically the Panzer Kampfwagen 38T. Now this vehicle was very popular with the Germans for the initial stages of the Blitzkrieg through Poland, through Belgium, through France, and against Russia. But against Russian made T-34s and KV-1s, yeah this vehicle was no match. So they scrapped it in favor of the Panzer IVs and then Panthers and then Tiger tanks. But they still used the chassis and suspension to produce tank destroyers like the Martyr III's and Yak Panzer 38s. The Hetzer. So yeah, the suspension of this vehicle was superb, but yeah, this vehicle was demoted to training and target practice later on in the war. It's a decent enough tier 3 light tank, but at tier 3s you have the Panzer 1Cs, and with Panzer 1Cs, they machine gun you to death with a Mauser machine gun. And you're just like, god damn it. <laughs> so health wise, below average. Mm. Engine power is below average. Okay. Horsepower per ton ratio is below average for a light tank at tier 3. Yeah, 13 is not that good. 
top speed is below average. Hull traverse below average, below average. It's more of a heavy tank. Terrain resistance below average. This is a light tank, right? Oh boy. View range is above average, so that's good. Radio range below average. No armor. Mm. Penetration very good. 82 millimeters. <laughs> what? That's crazy good penetration. Damage is also very good. Hmm. DPM is holy crap. <laughs> 672. It has an autoloader. So the first time you're introduced to an autoloader. Oh, you already introduced autoloaders, right? With machine guns. Machine guns are technically autoloaders, whatever. But yeah, the DPM is crazy low. You do have good penetrations, though. What's with the DPM, man? What's with the DPM? It reloads so slowly for three rounds and takes two seconds between each shot. Accuracy is above average, good. Aim time, uh, I mistyped, but yeah, it's not one second, it's 1.9 seconds, so average. Yeah, gun depression is 5 degrees, not that good. This DPM, oh boy, so it's skippable. And the terrain resistance coupled with the bad horsepower per turn ratio, this tank is slow for a light tank. It's more of a heavy tank with the autoloader. Huh. What? The DPM is so low, guys. Buff it, please. Buff it. Ugh. And finally, at tier 4, we have the Strudany tank, Reserve 39. Basically, the medium tank, model 1939. So this is a bigger, light tank, Reserve 35. The Panzer Kampfwagen, 35T. Has a weird feature with this smokestack into a bar-shaped handle across the front of the hull. What is this thing? I have no idea. You have a hull mounted machine gun like the Skruda T25, searchlights, towing hooks. Okay. Have a coaxial machine gun. The smokestack goes across the front of the hull into the hull. Is this a handlebar? But it has a smokestack next to it. I have no idea what that thing is for. Have towing cables, the exhaust. Okay. Yeah, what is this thing right here? I have no idea. Is it for boiling water? What is this bar used for? I have no idea. It's a weird feature on a tank. You have the shovels, the hammers. Yeah, what is this bar thing? No clue. All right, so here are the main stats of the Strudeny tank, Wizard 39. So it's a medium tank now. All right, hit points is around the average, below average engine power. Ways eh, a little bit light comparison to the average horsepower per turn ratio is decent enough for a medium tank, but a little bit slow. Top speed is average, reverse is average, hull traverse more of a heavy, turret traverse more of a heavy. Terrain resistance is below average, so it's a little bit slower. View range is above average, radio is still crappy. Armor is mm, yeah, it's tier four, so it's no. 75 millimeters like the Matilda, so it's not a heavy take, but the turret is decent enough at the front ish 60 millimeters is okay passable, but it's still no Matilda so yeah. Penetration is below average now Damage is below average DPM is slightly better than the tier 3 But still below average by a whole lot. Holy crap accuracy is uh, below, uh, above average, reloads is above average, aim time is above average, but DPM is really below average. What's with the low DPM or low mobility of these tanks? So basically, the checks have crappy low tiers, but very decent top tiers. That's The DPM is bad. Alright, the accuracy is okay, the aim time is okay. The reload time is okay, but the DPM is just so low with the low alpha compared to the average damage of 100. It's not like Matilda, where Matilda has high penetration, low damage, but rapid firing gun. It basically punctures you all the time and permatracks you. This thing... Yeah, yeah it's disappointing. <laughs>
and the final opinion about the low tier vehicles of the upcoming Czechoslovakian medium tank branch is these vehicles are pretty much skippable all right these vehicles have low horsepower per ton ratio or low dpm or both and coupled with no armor so these vehicles are not going anywhere fast or doing a lot of damage so it gets trashed on by Panzer 1Cs and Matildas sad to say wah 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 now the good things about these vehicles are the good penetration and good view range but the radio is still lacking so yeah these tanks are rough the only interesting vehicle is the color Hozinka at tier 1 because it has the best penetration of a tier 1 light tank but it's not going anywhere fast only 6.5 or so horsepower per turn ratio that's super slow <laughs> so yeah these vehicles are not that good so sad to say but yeah you have to skip these vehicles to the better ones at a higher tier wah 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 and the light tank Vizur 35 and Vizur 38 compared to the Panzer Kampfwagen 35T yeah their horsepower per ton ratio is not as good what the frick yeah the, the Panzer Kampfwagen 35T and 38T has about 20 horsepower per ton ratio these two have about 13 or 12 huh what so yeah these tanks are pretty much skippable sad to say but thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys next time peace mm -hmm.